Welcome back. A special event is bringing nature and art together to help the Blanford Nature Center achieve a dream of expanding into the former Highlands Golf Course. We've got President and CEO Jack Mahler. He's here to tell us more about Art is Second Nature and how we can all participate. Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful to be here with you. Well, thanks so much for being here. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, uh, we'll start with this art show and what this yeah. is all about, why you're doing it. Yeah, on October 22nd from 11 to 3, you know, friends at LaFonsi Galleries have put together just an incredible event, over 40 artists, all who have created pieces inspired by, you know, the once and forever opportunity at the Highlands, uh, you know, adjacent to the Blandford property and, and uh, made possible through our partnership with the Land Conservancy. So we're real excited. Yeah, so tell us a little bit of background here yeah. um, and, and the significance of being able to have this golf course as part of your property. Yeah, you know, in 2017, you know, we were presented with an opportunity. I'm going to shorten an awful lot of behind the scenes <laughs> work here. Um, but, you know, there was the former Highlands Golf Course on Leonard had closed and, you know, was in the, po the, uh, the status of potentially becoming 366 houses uh, and some mixed use commercial retail. Thankfully, through that process and our partners of the Land Conservancy of West Michigan, we were able to acquire that. And that 121 acres has been added now forever to the, the land at Blanford to make us 264 acres. And, one of the largest nature centers in the entire country then that exists fully within city limits. So, so we're pretty excited to, to bring that, that land back into a, a natural habitat. Wow, and so how is that gonna change the experience at Blanford for visitors? You know, it presents a lot of opportunities for us to expand our programming from our summer camps to you know, our educational programs for the, the K through five students. Um, but it's a really exciting ecosystem that not only are we able to take this back from uh, what it's been a golf course for a hundred years, which looks very natural, but is not a real native environment. But it also gives us some benefits in that it's not as fragile as some of our property, which is erosion sensitive and otherwise. So we really are going to have the opportunity to truly activate for this for the community and make sure that it's an asset and resource uh, for us forever. Wonderful. Yeah. And, and so then the art show, all the proceeds from this go to this project. Um, tell us about what people can experience, what they can do. It's free to attend. It's free to attend. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So again, on October 22nd, 11 to 3, we'd love to see everybody through. Again, 40 plus artists. Uh, you know, Linda LaFonsi, Scott LaFonsi, and their whole team have just been incredible to work with. And they have gotten, again, 40 plus artists that have all been inspired by this project, been inspired by the Highlands. Uh, to create these works and then we're going to have them as a, a show and exhibition which where all the pieces will be available for sale uh, and those are all going to benefit the continued naturalization efforts uh, and again to make sure that 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 property is truly activated and an asset for the community for forever wonderful yeah. and and if they can't make it to the event if the paintings don't sell you'll still have them there absolutely available for purchase. yeah they, they will both uh, continue to be up, they'll be available, and I think even we'll have them integrated into the kind of web and, and gift shop aspects so people would be able to make a pretty easy purchase on those. With again, all of the proceeds going to benefit the process and the project at the Highlands. Okay, do you need people to pre-register or anything like that? Can they just show up? Yeah, pre-registration is not required. Okay. We would love them to just come out and enjoy a beautiful Saturday with us, both indoors and outdoors. Okay, perfect, and then they can experience it all that Blandford has to offer Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, 264 acres, eight and a half eight, uh, miles of trails, and you know, it's fall, so, you know, I'm biased. There's, it's, there isn't a bad season out there, but the fall is a particularly gorgeous one. It is. For all those leaf peepers out there, a good mm -hmm. time to go. They're starting to turn. I was going to say, we're yeah. getting close. All right. Well, Jack, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And, of course, if you want more information, there it is on your screen. This event, Saturday, October 22nd at the Blandford Nature Center, 11 to 3. The phone number's on there, all the socials, and then, of course, BlandfordNatureCenter.org. Is that That's correct. That's the website? All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.